from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your top stories at this hour. Lawmakers in the Florida House are set to vote on the controversial 15-week abortion ban on Wednesday. The bill prohibits abortions after 15 weeks instead of 24 weeks. It makes exceptions only for fatal fetal abnormalities. Democrats have offered 14 amendments for consideration this evening, including exemptions for rape and incest. But the GOP majority has resisted those changes. LGBTQ advocates are fighting back against the don't say gay bill on Tuesday. Protesters at the Capitol were trying to heighten public outrage against against this bill, which they consider dangerous and bigoted. It comes as lawmakers continue to advance the policy, which bans discussion of sexual orientation or gender identity in elementary school classrooms. Newport Ritchie city leaders are looking into the possibility of keeping weekend outside dining and entertainment at Railroad Square. The city implemented outside dining back in 2020 because of the pandemic, and it's supposed to be temporary, but it's become so popular. Some business owners are now asking leaders to keep Railroad Square closed on the weekends going forward. So the city is now working on a proposal, but it will take a few months before a decision is made. And Disney World is updating its mask policy starting on Thursday. Fully vaccinated guests will only be required to wear a mask while on Disney transportation like the monorail, a bus or the Skyliner. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with Florida's most accurate forecast. Dennis. Hey, doing everybody. Skies are mostly cloudy and they'll stay that way for I'd say at least the next six to 12 hours. But by wake up time on Wednesday, the weather looks to be beautiful as temperatures start to climb. Lower 80s on Wednesday, low to mid 80s on Thursday. Might even see some record breaking highs on Thursday before a front comes in on Friday, maybe giving us a one day cool down on Saturday, but not even much of a cool down back to pretty much where we should be for the end of February. And then a huge warm up next week. Record highs are possible each and every day. Florida's most accurate seven day 80 on Wednesday, 84, 85 on Thursday. That would break a record high. The front comes through later Friday with a chance of a couple of showers lingering into Saturday.